So I've shown you how to put text inside an image, but can you put an image inside text? In this tutorial, I'll show you how. First, you're gonna to need to find a really thick font. So head over to Google and type in Futura Bold. It's the one we used in the last tutorial, but here's how to download it if you don't already have it from Font Geek. Tick the I'm not a robot and then hit zip download and it should appear at the bottom of your browser eventually to download. If you prefer another font, you can just simply go to Google and type in ultra bold fonts and go to somewhere like Font Space, Font Squirrel or somewhere like that and choose any of these that float your boat, but they're not as good as the one that I've chosen. Future of Bold, um, you'll see at the bottom of Google Chrome, click on the folder. You'll see that you can go to your downloads folder either at the top or on the left. And you just need to right click on a folder for Futura Bold and hit extract all, then hit extract. If you're on an Apple Mac computer, you can just double click on the white zip folder and it will extract into a blue folder like this. Then you can double click on it and double click on the Futura Bold OTF file and hit install at the top and it will install. Then you can close down your windows and let's go to download an image that you would like to show inside the text. So we're going to go to a free stock images website. So I'm going to head over to a website called Pexels, that's P-E-X-E-L-S, that's pexels.com. We can download images that are completely free to use in any way that you like. Now try and find an image where the content is quite wide. So if you wanna show something vertical like this waterfall or a lighthouse, you won't be able to fit it in your text very well. You want quite a wide image like a horizon, city, mountains, landscape, or maybe even a pair of eyes or something. So I'm gonna type in beach, and I like this image here of the grass. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm going to click on the drop down arrow, make sure I download the original, and hit free download. It might come up with an advert or um, say thanks to someone, but you will pop up at the bottom of your computer as well. And you can click on the up arrow and hit show in finder or show in folder, and you'll see your image has been downloaded there. Now we're gonna go over to a Pixlr. So if you don't already have it open, that's pixlr.com forward slash E, and then hit create new. We're going to choose quite a large image, which is web 1440p. This is a really good size for most images and simply hit create. At the moment, there's nothing in here. So we need to add our image to do that. Click on the plus button just beneath where it says layer one on the right hand side and click on image and then it'll ask you to up upload an image and you can hit open. This image is bigger. I'm just scrolling out with my mouse wheel here, but this image is bigger than it can fit. So you can move it around to fit or you can resize it down if you like. I'm just gonna resize mine down to fit. Next, we're gonna to want to get our text. Click on your text tool, which will be on the left-hand side as the T-shape. I'm gonna zoom in with the scroll wheel. I'm gonna get the text tool with the T-shape on the left, which is also, if you hit T on the keyboard, that will come up and just click anywhere in your document. It'll say, do you want to add a new text layer? Hit add, and then you can type in your text. So I'm gonna just simply type in beach. Let's modify our text to look good. Before I increase the size, I'm going to go over to where it says styles, and I'm gonna choose outline. This helps it make it even more bold. So turn on outline. You're going to want to decrease the size of the outline down to about one. Anything more than that, it looks really freaky. And then where it says color, click on the box for color and then move your mouse outside to where it's you've got the text here and choose it to be the same color as your text. Now, I want my text to be any color. It doesn't really matter um, because we won't even see it. So as long as the outline is the same color, this should work fine. Next, let's go to where it says settings and increase the spacing in between the letters because it looks more modern and on trend. If your text starts to get cut off on the sides like mine's doing here, simply move your mouse to the blue bars on the sides and drag that out like that. I'm gonna try and keep the distance between the letters on the edges here about the same as the distance of the letters in between. So I'm going to decrease 
the letter spacing a bit there so it's not too mad and then if you want to increase the font size you can simply do that there with where it says size then move it roughly wherever you want it doesn't matter too much and now here's how to show the image through the text simply move your mouse over to where it's got your text layer over here either right click or click on the three dots and where it says blend mode and it says none click on that and instead choose mask and you've got it you can now see your image inside the text now you might not be happy with the placement of the image here and this is where you can see that how masks are really good you can actually move the text over and around like this uh, to reveal any part of the image that you want so i'm going to kind of choose something like this and if you prefer to move the image instead of the text because the text is no longer in the middle you have to click on the three dots for the text click on the locked button there and you see a padlock appear that will then allow you to click on this image instead and move the image where you like but wait there's more if you want to add a completely different image you can click on the plus button and add a new layer and I've downloaded this image of a city I'm going to hit open now I'm going to need to move this underneath the text layer but I can't because it's locked so I'm going to unlock the text layer by clicking on unlocked so that was right click unlocked and then I can move the city underneath like that and then I might need to zoom out with the scroll wheel on my mouse and scale the image down so that it fits nicely so I can hear some of you say that's not a beach that's a city no problem go to your text tool on the left and click on your text or double click on your text and change the word and then when you're done go back to your arrange tool at the top which looks like a normal pointer arrow and then you can see your text in there like that next you're going to want to add a background to this now here's where you will see a problem if i get my background layer down here and get my paint bucket tool and try to fill it in white for example it will fill in white but it will be filling in white and then cut it out in the shape of this mask so if i do turn off my images it is there but it's being cut out so you now need to merge your photo with your text layer this means you won't be able to change the text or change the image that's inside it anymore so once you're happy with your image simply click on the top layer which should be your text and click on the three dots and click on the button for merge down not any of these other ones but click merge down this will merge the city text with the image of the city and then you are free to move it around if you can't move it around make sure that you have unlocked the layer over here by right click and make sure it's unlocked and you can move that way you like you can combine two images or if you prefer you can turn off the other image and use the background now i usually have a slight gradient background just to make it look slightly more professional for the white area here so if you hit g on the keyboard for golf or you get click on the gradient tool like this and we're going to choose a color for our background gradient so click on the white box up here or whatever color you, should, you might see something like this at the top click on that and i'm going to choose the top left option which should be a custom option and for the left hand arrow click on that and then click on the color for the left hand color choose pure white this is what will be the color of the middle of the image the color on the right hand side click on that for the arrow there and then click on the box of the color this time choose a slightly darker shade of gray like this i've got b4 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 and then i'm going to click on the radial option at the top here and drag out my gradient like this and if you want the gradient to be smaller drag out a small line if you want the gradient to be bigger drag it out across the whole page from the middle of your image it doesn't have to be from the middle you can start it from any letter of your word if you like i usually have it from the middle like that and you're done now you can save the image by going to file save and download a jpeg so give it a name click on jpeg hit download if you want to edit this in the future download it as a pxd file give it a good name and hit download you'll see it download at the bottom of your internet that's in your downloads folder now and you're done